now that we've had some coffee, what's up next? Well, these next group of videos you actually haven't seen before. Why? Well, I never put them up online. I wasn't comfortable with how to approach that. I liked the footage, but I didn't know exactly how to show it to everybody, which way to go with it. And it wasn't until looking back at all the footage as one whole package that I realized what direction I wanted to go. So this first video is actually on the Privateer Festival, which I almost didn't go to because I felt like it might be end up being the same thing as the old time Christmas. It has a historic sounding name, but is there any actual history in the festival? And I was really looking for the history. Okay, let me show you the, the episode. Hi. Ahoy there. Urban Pirates is an adventure pirate ship down in Baltimore's Inner Harbor, and, and we run family adventure cruises as well as adult bring-your-own grog cruises. It's quite an adventure every time. And you also did something with Privateer Day. So I was uh, part of Privateer Festival's planning committee with Fells Point Main Street, and I actually was the chairman for the committee, so oversaw the, the whole festival and, and helped out where I could. Why Pirates? Why Fells Point and Pirates? Uh, well, the, the history of uh, privateers in the area is is rampant. Uh, there's many years of 1812 history uh, that had privateer vessels running out of Fells Point. Um, so that's where the history comes into it, is that this area was the prime spot in the 1800s for shipbuilding in Baltimore, and these fast clipper ships were coming out of Baltimore's uh, Fells Point area and uh, attacking British ships. So that's, that's the history behind it. So, and so that's why you decided Pirates. Well, the Privateer Festival began as a pub crawl around Fells Point about 10 years ago, and uh, they decided to make it bigger and bigger every year. Uh, as far as the theme of it, it's definitely historical, but when it comes down to it, we've got the Children's Pier, all sorts of historical events, as well as a, a fair sort of atmosphere with vendors and crafts and things like that. So it's sort of all encompassing. It's a, a festival for the area, and Privateers just happens to be the theme. Is there, is there any sort of trade-offs between history and fun? Sure. Uh, you know, when we were planning it, we really wanted to make sure that we covered both aspects. Um, there's a lot of people in the area who are really into the history. Covering both sides of the festival is, is really important to us. So for the weekend, we had a lot of live entertainment, um, and it was, uh, it was sea shanty type of bands, things like that, uh, things that are more historically accurate, uh, sailors, songs, and things like that, and as well as the, the battle stage that was sword fight reenactment. Uh, as well as the uh, historical displays on, on the Broadway Pier. Uh, they sort of brought you back into time and you could see uh, artifacts and, and replicas of artifacts from the, from the 1800s in that time period. I think uh, any sort of festival that uh, would only focus on one side, so just the history side, would have difficult drawing people in. Well, thank you for talking with us. Sure. It looks like your, your boat's coming in. Hi, hi. Uh, Fearless uh. is headed in. Hi. Let me stop for just a second and explain this next section of the video. When I was at the festival, I got to ride in the Pride of Baltimore too. That's a gorgeous ship. Yes, it is. It's a replica of the old Baltimore Clippers. And the captain was actually gracious enough to let me come back and talk with him. And when I was talking with him, I actually asked him about the Privateer Festival and his thoughts on it. So that's what this section is. I'm one of two captains for Pride of Baltimore too, which of course is a historically evocative of the privateers that sailed out of Fells Point during the War of 1812. The Pride of Baltimore has taken part at the Fells Point Privateer Festival. There were a few people dressed in period clothing, but the rest are dressed as pirates. What is the difference? Privateering was a regulated industry that was licensed by a government. From about 1240 onward, uh, maritime nations of the world were issuing some sort of license to people in order to take their own private vessels, which is where the privateer comes from, uh, out to sea to either gain profit or to recoup losses. So that had to happen during a time of war, and it had to only be the vessels that were, were designated as being from the enemy. So privateers were pretty important to at least America during 
during the, the War of 1812. They, yes, they were an extremely necessary force multiplier. At the, the time the War of 1812 broke out, the American Navy had a total of 16 ships in it, and the British had somewhere in the neighborhood of 600 ships. So not very good odds for a game of dodgeball that's going to be played with iron balls shot at the speed of sound Jeez. or better. What do you think of the, the Fells Point Privateer Festival? Uh, I think it's a great way to, to bring people down to Fells Point and to show them that Fells Point's real existence is based on a maritime culture. And in fact, the streets everyone calls cobblestones literally are ballast stone streets. The, the bricks that they're made of are, are not cobbled together. They're laid in a specific pattern because they're exact squares and they came out of the holes of ships. So when you're stepping down Thames Street or, or up the lower part of Broadway in Fells Point, you're, you're literally walking all over the world. Uh, with the resurgence of pirate culture after the, the Disney movie series, a lot of people, uh, kids and more like adults, have fun with the pirate theme. Um, but the recent trend of Privateer Day has been to involve more of the serious historical aspects. If you saw this year on Broadway Pier, uh, the Maryland Historical Society was there. And then Fort McHenry had their reenactors down there as well to show the, the more military side. It should be as much fun as it possibly could be for everyone, but the focus of it to, to remain grounded in the idea that the actual facts of the matter is that the citizens of Baltimore, who were law-abiding people, uh, who probably weren't drinking rum uh, from six in the morning until uh, two the next morning, um, we were going to see as volunteers to, to help their country. I see what you mean. Those two halves of that video are really different in personality. Yeah, and that's actually, I mean, I had a lot of fun at the festival. I mean, who doesn't have fun in the pirate festival? But it was really talking with Jamie that drew me in. 